TM Flow Scoring TM Flow comprises three health scores, lifestyle, autonomic, and vascular function according to a series of measured markers. The body's two main regulatory mechanisms are the autonomic nervous system, and endothelial function. Since the regulatory mechanisms are working fine, the cardiometabolic risk is very low. If the patient does not maintain a healthy lifestyle, or the regulatory mechanisms are less effective, the fitness and recovery index markers decrease, and the body mass index and fat mass markers increase. The lifestyle score became yellow which is the earliest stage of cardiometabolic risk. With age and a continuously poor lifestyle, the regulatory mechanism responses are less effective, and some damage may appear. The inadequate response of the autonomic nervous system affects the skin microcirculation and causes inflammation of the cholinergic fibers, which are unmyelinated, that stimulate the sweat glands. The inadequate response of the endothelial function affects the immune system and causes inflammation. The small artery blood flow is impaired and insulin resistance may occur. As a result, the autonomic and vascular function markers turn yellow which is the step 1 of cardiometabolic risk. If the patient improves his lifestyle, then the process can be reversed. Otherwise, a continued poor lifestyle associated with insulin resistance will cause an increase in BMI, fat mass, mental stress, and exercise intolerance. At this stage, the lifestyle score will become orange, which is the step 2 of cardiometabolic risk, which turn yellow. In addition, there is a new response of the autonomic nervous system and endothelial function to compensate for the new lifestyle issue. The inadequate response of the endothelial function causes artery stiffness, poor vascular tone and high blood pressure, and an abnormal lipid profile. If the patient does not improve his lifestyle, then the lifestyle score will turn red, and the cardiometabolic risk turns to orange which is the step 3 of cardiometabolic risk. At this stage diabetes can occur. If the patient's ongoing medications cannot effectively control the blood glucose, then complications may occur. The autonomic score turns orange. Cardiac autonomic neuropathy may occur. Peripheral artery disease and cardiovascular disease may occur. The autonomic, vascular, and cardiometabolic risk scores turn red which is the step 4 of the cardiometabolic risk.